Hello students, this is Fazan Mirza. We are discussing a small, relatively small topic for our, uh, for our level here, bioinformatics. Although this is, this is literally the future of biology. This is literally the future of research and not only future, it's the present of, it is quite here, right here, right now. And it's, it's the present and the future of medicine and genetics and research and everything. So what's bioinformatics? Bioinformatics basically is a combination of genomics, proteomics and biotechnology. Genomics is just mapping of the genomes and the entire genes, the number of genes and all the alleles present in a certain species. Proteomics refer to the analysis of the entire sets of proteins which are extracted in the genomes of that particular species. And biotechnology is basically the commercial application of the biological science and particularly microbiology and zymology and genetics and then you make the organism transgenic and then you try to just make it tweak it certain in, in tits and bits and you just try to uh, make sure that it becomes more productive according to uh, your needs so bioinformatics uh, is basically a database of gene sequences and genomes and protein sequences and structures and this is the database means this is this is stored on the internet and on the World Wide Web. So you have a lot of biological data in the in the inform and the information is in the form of DNA, RNA, and proteins. And you have computer technology, which means the uh, the algorithms which are run using IT and artificial intelligence. And then you have statistics. A lot of statistics, statistical uh, tools have been added. So it's bioinformatics is like uh, you can say a product of all three. These are three, these are three parents of uh, a single child. Okay. So bioinformatics allow the links to be established and these links can then be, these are very useful in actually giving out some information. So yes, bioinformatics is the future and uh, future of biology. And this is the enormous information is stored. Enormous information data is stored on database on the internet. You can't store this, in, this information in books. This books, books would be like, too, too much of use, too much use of papers and stuff. So you just cannot store this information on in books. You have to store it somewhere where you can, where the enormous information can be stored because encyclopedia is, 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 is very thin as compared to the amount of information that we get from bioinformatics and probably you would need like uh, dozens of, uh, uh, countless amount of books to, to just uh, place all this information. So we place these in the database on the internet. Okay, so facts and figures are that in 2014, that's like, that's like quite a bit of, back. it's like, it looks past now. So in 2015, the database held about 16 to 10 to the power 11 base pairs or 600 gigabase pairs equivalent to 2200 huge. So uh, this this data in 2014 the database had so much a data that actually there was no unit for that data so the data was referred to as base pairs base pairs base pairs like two base pair 100 base pair 1000 base pair then kilo base pair then uh, then 100000 kilo base pair and so on and so forth but a new unit had to be designed and the new unit is a huge so the what's huge huge one huge represents 3 to 10 to the power 9 base pair so it's it's kind of uh, an RNA that the data was so huge they they ended up calling it huge okay so huge actually refers to a uh, human genome equivalent so huge is not like huge it's it's basically um, a combination of uh, letters that mean human genome equivalents so this is some enormous data stored there so all this stored this data is used for research purpose it's used in gene technology and applications include treatment of the genetic diseases because you know that if an individual cell or an organism is suffering from a genetic disease, what is the sequence of that diseased allele and how can you replace that diseased allele with the normal allele and what is the sequence of the normal allele and then, then gene, in with genetic technology you can come up with vectors, you can make a transgenic organism and you can make a recombinant DNA and then just place that gene in that organism. And in agriculture you can use it, in crop improvement and probably in, even in, in, in cattle this is being used, in fishes this is being used. So we have salmon fish, which is which grows too huge in too less time for to just feed the human population. So there's some useful databases available worldwide. These include Ensemble. Ensemble is having the, uh, the data of genome of eukaryotes. This is having DNA and RNA sequences, data of all the genes of uh, of these of eukaryotes uh, in the human beings or the yeast, and there are a lot of more organisms there. Uniprot is a universal protein source and this universal protein source is having primary sequences of the proteins. It is a minus sequences of the polypeptides and proteins all stored there. And then you have BLAST. 
BLAST is a basic logical alignment search tool. This is an algorithm for comparing the primary structure of proteins and the nucleotide sequences of the genes. For example, if you if you just uh, just visit this page of Ensemble, uh, you just go there. You you type the name of the of the of the gene you want to search in the tab on the on the top corner. You run you hit the button run. And then you just see, you just it just gives you enormous information about that gene. And for example, of that gene, you want to look at the variants of the gene. You want to look for the alleles of those genes. So if you just click another point, it, the, the ensemble page will actually show you a window in which all the variants, all the alleles of that gene are being displayed. And if you go for the mutations or the promoters of those genes and how the DNA, how these genes can have, where, what are the kind of mutations that have been found so far and in which population these mutations are. This is, this is enormous information of each and every gene of human uh, cells and, you, and yeast and a lot of big, uh, a lot of uh, other eukaryotic organisms there. So probably visit the, visit the website of Ensemble and just go there and just see for yourself what, what enormous information I'm talking about. And then you can go to Uniprod. For example, if I go to Uniprod and I just write down that I want to know the primary sequence structure of, of insulin, the human insulin, that whether what polypeptide is it made of. So actually I got to know that, okay, it's not even a single polypeptide. So yeah, so uh, so you can just go there and you can type the name of a protein that you want to look. It will give you the sequence of the amino acids. So for example, if we know that the hemoglobin in the beta chain, it changes from glue to well uh, with sickle cell anemia. So how do we know this? We know this because we know the comparison from the Uniprod primary sequence of protein we know that hemoglobin is having two variants. Similarly, any protein source can be just found there and the primary sequences can be compared. This blast here, it, it basically is just uh, putting these things together. For example, if I, I and these, these databases have interlinks as well. So if I'm running my ensemble and I'm, I'm just, just going through a certain gene here and I'm just, I'm just trying to study the sequence of that gene and the variants and the mutations and the disease and the promoters and RNA polymerase and, 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 and all the alleles and the variations. And then suddenly I decide, okay, I want to know the protein structure of this gene as well. So there, there I'll see a small tab of Uniprot there. So if I, if I click on that tab, so ensemble page will drag me to the Uniprod, the, the very same way with the uh, internet works. So, you know, you can jump from one website to another and then to another, then to another. The same that goes in, in apps, our smartphone apps as well. So you can visit your, this ensemble Uniprod using your smartphones as well. Just, just try to go there and just try to see that what the future of bio, biology, the bioinformatics holds for you. And then basic alignment of, uh, of uh, this basic logical alignment search tool, it constantly is, is used for comparison of uh, primary structure proteins and the nuclear gene sequence of organisms. So this is again enormous information there. So uh, that's it. I'm not going to discuss anything further here. So I think that's it from my side. Thank you so much.